All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching, or well, you're watching my uh, kind of picks for the spring 2022 anime season. Um, normally these videos are like 40 odds minutes long. I'm going to make this one slightly lesser just because I'm going to be a lot more brutal with um, kind of me just skipping past a load of stuff that kind of just looks like shit to me, to be honest. Um, so I've started from the bottom today, whereas I usually start from the top because the top are usually the more popular ones. Um, so just to get, away, get rid of a lot of, um, get out of the way a lot of these anime. Um, starting from the bottom, which is the specials. Um, I've skipped over a lot of the ones I already can't really see me watching. Um, firstly, uh, looking at uh, is the Vampire in the Garden, which I don't know anything about. But I am purely saying yes, I'm going to be watching this. Possibly not reacting to it. But mainly based on the fact that it was, it's brought to you by which studio which you know it's wet i've got to watch everything they want they make so that's a watching from me uh next up skip 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 uh we got bubble again which studio uh probably reacting to that to be fair i've seen a lot of trailers it looks freaking awesome um so i will be watching that too uh next up we are skipping a lot of this um movies again they're just kind of all over the place with reactions anyway because they take forever to come out uh, online to be able to watch them um, I don't watch quintuplets. I really need to start Odd Taxi, actually, because in 22 hours it comes out. Um, I don't know if that's in theatres in Japan or not, or whether that's online, but I think it's in theatres in, theaters in Japan. Um, yeah, I've heard great things about Odd Taxi, so I really need to get around to watching it. Um, I would like to watch that, so I'll probably, I'll put that maybe watching, um, but all the rest of those are good. Leftovers, nothing I'm watching. TV shorts, nothing there. Uh, right, so starting from the bottom, I'm going to say no, 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 nope, nope, Kingdom 4. I know Kingdom, and I know it's a very, very, very popular manga. I don't know how well the anime does, though, but I also haven't watched it, and Kingdom, that's like, what, season 4? Um, but yeah, I think I may pick up, pick up the manga one day. I'm not a huge sign-in guy, I'm more shonen, um, but I've heard great things about Kingdom, so I may pick it up one day um but for the anime i won't be watching that uh okay so birdie wing golf girl story i've seen this bandai namco is this based off like a game because that's what bandai usually bring out um just like a female kind of golf kind of story i like the look of that main character i ain't gonna lie um not oh, i mean i like playing i used to play golf a lot actually in real life um but i'm not overly into it now uh, i don't think i'd be overly into an anime about it um there's only very little sports animes that i'm actually into uh yeah high iq uh croak in a basket which i need to continue with actually um and yeah that's do i watch any other sports anime i don't think so um i'm gonna give that one a miss uh, i'll keep an eye out for it though to be fair uh fanfare of adolescence this is they look like jockeys this is a horse anime yeah it's a horse anime uh yeah i'm re really not interested in horse riding at all so i'm gonna give that one a pass uh rpg fudu-san fudu um the story begins 15 years after the demon king was defeated and the world has become peaceful kotane who graduated from school and became a magician inquired the kingdom affiliated rpg real estate in order to find a new home in reality rpg real estate was kotane's place of employment and together with fa a demi-human the priest refuria and the soldier arakira they help support the searches of new homes for the customers. Oh, I think I've seen this advertised, actually. It's like a real estate from another world kind of thing. Um, Gotta say, not interested. Uh, isekais, you know how it is. Just, there are a dime a dozen. So, uh, oh, there's only, there's literally like one in every 12 anime uh, isekais that are actually worth watching, in my opinion. So, I'm going to give that one a pass. Um, Madoka Re uh, Magica Record. Um, the final season of Magic Record. I don't believe that's directly affiliated with the original madoka magica I, I watched that years ago and it was like this is not what i was expecting um but yeah it's the final season I, I don't think i'll be watching that to be honest um next up is dai daimon De daimon which is some kind of like restaurant kind of thing maybe uh naga uh, nagomu irino returns to his kyoto home for the first time in 10 years when his father is hospitalized nagamo is eager to take over ryuko shu yeah i'm not gonna say that the family's japanese sweet shop but he insists uh, he instead asks to be a father figure to itsuka yukiri yukihira yukihira 
the girl everyone calls the successor. Okay. Um, maybe. This sounds kind of interesting, to be honest. What kind of... Uh, what are... Oh, no, this is Twitter. Uh, what kind of uh, genres are we looking at here? My God, I've been flashbanged. Um, slice of life. Okay, well, sure. Uh, the studio encouraged films. What have they done? Um, nothing that jumps out of me. 2013. No, nothing special. I'll say maybe watch into that. I don't think I'll react to it though. Uh, next up is Don't Hurt Me, My Healer. The story of the series follows Alvin and the Chipmunks, a knight with saint-like patience for annoying people. A Carla and Carla, a dark elf healer with a sharp tongue and a rotten personality who always speaks without thinking first. Together they form a party and go on fantastical adventures. Um, I'm going to say maybe. I might check that out. Adventure comedy, I might check it out. Sounds pretty interesting. Um, we'll see how it goes. Probably not react to, reacting to it, but I'll check it out. Next up is another sports anime. We've got a badminton anime. Not overly into badminton, but hey-ho, I wasn't into volleyball until Haikyuu. Uh, the story follows Ryu Misushima, who was once an obscure badminton player in middle school. He now strives to become a top athlete and take his high school team to the inter-high tournament. Uh, gotta say, I've never heard of this. Uh, Nipo Animation OLM. I know OLM. OLM. Um, I will maybe check out the kind of see the maybe non-spoiler reviews of the manga. Maybe see what people think of that. Um, because normally if the if the sports you know anime has a very popular or fan favorite kind of manga, uh, then it's usually worth checking out. Um, but I'll say maybe to that one. That's a maybe. Uh, absolutely fucking not. Uh, next one is the, I'm not going to pronounce that. He already left her hometown to pursue her passion, track and field by enrolling Tokyo's, okay. Looking for a part-time job in Tokyo, she ended up working as a apprentice manager for her classmates and Lip Lip X members. Uh, the story resolves around the coming of age Hiyori Yoshidoga school, extracurricular life and managing. So she's a manager for a, an idol group, it seems. Something like that. Um, Blade Deuce. Who does? Uh, who do they? Oh, they're doing two this season. Um, I did not actually finish that. I've got that on hold, but I've heard some good things about that show. Uh, Fake Granddaughter Moonlight. Fake Granddaughter First Order. Uh, okay, nothing. So nothing crazy special, but uh i'll keep an eye out for that one it's a music anime too i do like some music anime i've never watched any idol anime it's never piqued my interest but um i'll keep an eye out for that one see if uh see if people are, are liking it or not uh next up is in the heart of kunichi tsubaki uh, by cloverwax i've seen this one i think advertised uh, about a little ninja um gal uh, the story centers on the the t t titular, I don't know what that word means. Uh, Sabaki Kunichi, uh, the best student in her school. She lives in a village of women with the rule that they cannot have content contact with men. However, she has a curiosity about men that she cannot reveal. Mm. Okay, Cloverworks, Comedy Supernatural. I'm going to give that one, I'm going to say yes. Uh, I don't know if I'll react to it. I'll give it the first episode or so treatment and see where it goes from there. Next up, Love Live. Uh, gotta say, I know how popular Love Live is, but uh, I like I said about Idol Anime, never been interested in it, so uh, I'm going to say pass on that one. Dance Dance Dancer um, by Mappa. I think I have actually seen this one advertised. Um, I'm going to say yes. I will watch it. Don't know if I'll react to it. I'll give it the first episode treatment. Um, but Mapper, and I think I've seen the trailer for it, and honestly, it sounds decent. So I will I will check it out. Uh, next up is the ex executioner and her way of life. Okay, Ooh. got some uh, got some nice looking characters right there. Uh, when interdimensional travelers from the otherworldly land known as Japan appear, they often bring death and destruction. It's up to executioners like Menno to track and exterminate the lost ones before they wreak havoc. When Menno encounters a beguiling lost one named Akari, it's blood, mis blood business as usual until Menno discovers Akari can cheat death. That is, even so Menno has a job to do, she has a commitment to And this first and second episode are received as advanced screening. Hmm. Okay. 
Um, that sounds cool, actually. I thought the yeah, first lay was going to be just isekai again, but they sound like like they're right. I'm sick of these isekai people coming from Japan. We're just going to kill them off uh, when they get to, when, when they get here. So it's an interesting premise, um, and I like the idea of the kind of main character character's ability. So I think I will check that out. Don't know if I'll react to it though. Um, we we will see. Uh, love after world domination. I think I've actually seen a trailer to this, and it looks like Power Rangers. Um, two sides to good every coin. Light versus dark, good versus evil. Love versus hate. Sometimes the line between the two grows thin, and it's so, so easy to cross. So it's no surprise that Fudo Aikawa, aka Red Gelato of the Gelato 5, the Power Rangers, and Hero to All People, just may have happened to fall for the villain that's a member of the shadow organization Gecko, Desami Magahara. But when the opposites like these attract, there's more than a few obstacles to their love. What's a pair like what's a pair like this to do? Okay, it's a, a action adventure comedy. Uh, adva- action comedy etchy. I'm gonna say pass, but f- just for curiosity's sake, I'm just gonna keep an ear out for that anime to see if it's actually a, like a hidden banger. Um but yeah, I'm gonna say pass for now. Um <laughs> the, the main characters look cute, not gonna lie. Uh, next up is The Dawn of the Witch by Tezaku Productions. I feel like I've heard of them before. Why have I clicked on that? Uh, it was like Girlfriend, Girlfriend or something like that. Uh, nope. Oh, they did um, Quintuplets. Oh, da da da. Ooh. Although that was also Mappa that did da da da, I believe. I think. Yeah, it was, I think it was a mix between the two studios. Uh... Oh, I love that anime. I forgot what it was called in English, but I love that anime. Anybody who needs a really good music anime, check this out. I really, I really freaking love it. Um, and then, yeah, just some older animes. Okay. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, what's it called? The, the Dawn of the Witch. Uh, I can't remember. Who am I? What am I? Seville is a student at Magic Academy who has no memories of anything from before he joined the school. Not understanding why he's there, the time he spends at the academy feels hollow and empty. And since he doesn't know how to work hard, his grades are always the lowest in his year. Then one day, the school headmaster, Albus, orders Seville to participate in a dangerous special training. I want you to spread the use of magic in an area where they hold witch hunts. It has only been a few years since the war between the church and the witches came to an end. The world has not yet fully accepted witches and their magic. This is the dawn of the age of the witch. This is the story of how a young man, a boy who is no one special, and his companions, who all hold wounds in their hearts, set out and end up finding themselves. Hmm. Okay. Um. Uh. Honestly, as soon as I read that MC is nothing special, kind of just switched me off there. But something about this jumps out at me. So I'm gonna give. I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna check it out. Probably not react to it, but we might see if it's a hidden banger. Who kn- who knows? Um, next up is my gosh, another sports anime. It's a soccer anime. Uh, football. I said football, although that that's like an American soccer ball. So, um, right. Honestly, not very interested because Blue Lock is coming soon and. I want to watch that. So, so I'm going to say no. Oh, it's by Production IG though. Ooh, I don't know. Uh, let me watch the trailer. I might check it out. Uh, I mean, I'm looking forward to Blue Lock. There seems to be kind of a, a big favorite in the manga community. Um, I haven't read it, obviously. But uh, I'll check this out. This could be my like little teaser into kind of football anime. Um. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll have a look. I'll, I'll say maybe watch into that one. I don't know if I'll react to it, though. But Production IG, um, they make some good stuff. Uh, the Demon Girl Next Door, but Season 2. Um, honestly, actually, I saw this a while ago. And I think I saw a trailer or a clip or something like that from it. And it actually looked pretty funny. Um, but I haven't watched Season 1 yet. So I will have to pass on Season 2 for now. Which means I won't be reacting to it on the channel. Uh, trapped in a day... Trapped in a dating sim, the world of Otome games is tough for mobs. No. Next up, Skeleton Knight in Another World. No. Uh, Tomodachi Game. Okay, so I've heard this is this um, 
this this is quite uh, popular in manga terms um that it's uh, has a like a decent kind of story it's like a mystery uh, drama mystery high school student it's Katagiri Yuchi who values friendship above all or else enjoys a fulfilling life with his close friends so Sawagiri Giri Shiho Mikasa Tenji Shibe Makato and Koko, Kokoriji Yutori however after a particular incident they're dragged into a debt repayment game the only way to beat the Tom Tomodachi game is not to doubt their friends Bound together by solid friendships, the game should have been easy, but the hugely popular comic that sold over 2 million copies is finally becoming an anime. Yeah, see, I've, uh, I've heard it is quite popular. Will their trust or betray their, their precious friends? Pre precious friends? The true nature of humanity exposed is in the ultimate psychological game. Okay, apologies for my uh, reading age. Uh, <laughs> sometimes I can't read words. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch that. I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna watch it reacting to episode one on the channel. Uh, it comes out in six days. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, it's a good one. Um, it reminds me the premise sounds like Alice in Borderland to me, um, which I really enjoyed. So, uh, although I did only watch the live action, I haven't watched the anime or read the manga. Um, but yeah, uh, it sounds interesting. Um, I think probably maybe a lot of people will be be put off by like, what the hell is that? <laughs> that that doll. But um, you know what? Ranking of Tings, Kings, <laughs> Ranking of Tings, Ranking of Kings taught me to never ever judge, you know, a book by its cover, unless it looks like a standard isekai like that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch that one. Uh, Ascendance of a Bookworm season three, season three. Haven't watched it, so that's a no from me. Uh, the greatest demon lord is reborn as a typical nobody. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> please try harder japan please um i'm quitting heroing like i just i look at the i look at the freaking poster and i'm just like no because they're just so the same they don't try <laughs> um but the the title makes me want to read the synopsis so after saving humanity from the despicable demon king Leo Demon Heart does not earn a hero's standing. Instead, he is regarded with suspicion and hostility by those he fought to protect. Treated as a pariah with nowhere else to turn, exiled, Leo seeks a position in the army of his former nemesis. But the army is not what it once was before its defeat at Leo's hands. So to maintain his new position, Leo must whip the forces back into fighting shape. Hmm... I might watch, I might try the episode EMT Squared. Who's that? Never heard of that studio. Uh, Assassin's Pride. Uh, yeah. God damn. God, nah. <laughs> I'm going to try episode one of my own time um, and I'll see if I enjoy it or not. Um, Science fell in love, so I tried to prove it. Oh, I watched season one of this. I think that I finish it. I don't know. I don't know if I finished this, but it was actually quite cute. Um, these kind of two nerdy, smart-ass people um, were trying to figure out, like, kind of love. Kind of give me Love as War vibes um, because they, they're they two in their own heads, really. And um, it was it was actually kind of cute. The The main girl was hella pretty. Um, I can't remember if I finished it. If I finished it, then I will watch season two. Don't know if I'll react to it, um, but we will see. Uh, that starts in two days, actually. Wow um next up is so i'm gonna say yes to that just in case next up is summertime render yes that is a yes from me um i've seen the trailers for this it looks very cool i love the character designs uh it's by olm um and the synopsis sounds hella decent so i'm looking forward to that um for some reason i thought this was a movie but apparently it's an anime episode one of 25 wow that's gonna be airing for ages and that starts in two weeks Okay, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Next up is I've seen this. I've seen the poster to this actually, and already by the poster it looks, it looks funny. Um, the story follows the indecipherable daily life of the short and quiet Reina Aharen and Raido, who sits next to her. Uh, Aharen is no is not so good at gauging the distance between people, and Raido initially felt some distance between the two of them. One day, when Raido picked up the eraser that Aharen had dropped. The distance between them suddenly became uncomfortably close. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I think I saw part of the trailer for it one time. Um, 
And honestly, I'm going to give it a go. I don't know if I'll react to it. I might give it the episode one treatment um, and see how I feel about it. But we will we will see with that one. Next up is a couple of cuckoos. Um, why are they in a bird's nest? Uh, mixed up with another family's child as a baby, high, co- high school student Umino Nagi is finally meeting his biological parents. On the day of, me- of their meeting, he happens to encounter Amino Erika, a high school student at a prestigious and wealthy girl's school. At her request, he's half forced into pretending to be her boyfriend so she can avoid marrying her fiancé. However, not only were the babies who had been mixed up... Uh, sorry, however... Not only were they the babies who had been mixed up, they're also engaged to each other. The loving... Wait, hang on. <laughs> Wait, so she doesn't want to marry her fiancé. So she pretends to marry to go out with this guy. They were mixed up as a child. And it turns out her fiancé is this guy. What? <laughs> okay, um... Right, and the, the begins living together. Right, the, okay, so the both families officially recognize their engagement and the couples begin living together. Nagi's in love with his classmate, Sego Ahiro, and Erika is determined to rebel, rebel against her father. So the couple agree not to get involved with each other. The mixed up and chaotic romantic comedy starts now. Honestly, that was a, that was a mindfuck for a second there. I don't know why they're in a nest. I really can't tell um, why they've got eggs. But I think I'm going to give that one a go. I don't know if I'll react to it. Again, episode one treatment, but we will see. Um, Data Live 4. Damn. Data Live season one and season two, I loved. I watched them very early on when I first started anime. I think Data Live was probably actually like my third anime I watched, um, and which led on to a whole lot of more etchy animes. So that was a dark time for me. Um, but uh, unfortunately, I started season three when that aired and it just didn't hit the same as it did when I started anime. It was just kind of... I liked the characters, especially the girl in kind of the um, the orange kind of dress. Um, she was one of my favorites. But yeah, uh, I, I, I don't think I'll be watching that because I didn't finish season three. Apologies, mad lad, if you're watching. Um, I'll leave that all to you. <laughs> um, next up is Komi course i'm watching komi um whenever netflix decide to release an actual schedule for it that would be splendid um but yeah i will be watching komi this season 100 i loved it i love the first season next up is shikimori's not just a cutie i've seen the trailer for this i've seen the premise and honestly this seems good um this girl everybody's saying like how she's is is she's going to be the best girl of the season like marin was last season um i like the premise a lot i like the flipped kind of gender roles and the fact that she's kind of the the main and you know the guys the more sweet like kind of fragile one i like that i I like the uh i like the premise of that and uh, i'm excited to see where that goes um so yes i will be watching that who is the author of that actually Uh, i want to see if it's a man or a woman um doesn't say heterosexual 97 percent yeah <laughs> uh say the author staff original creator maki kago maki kago uh is a japanese manga cat and the author the issue it doesn't say if it's a man or a woman um yeah that sound, it sounds really refreshing and uh i'm definitely going to be watching and reacting to that because it looks cool Next up is Spy X Family. Uh, I don't read the manga, so I, I, I get the premise, though. Um, I've read the synopsis, seen all the trailers, and I've seen the poster. Seems really awesome. It seems very popular in kind of the Shonen Jump community um, by Cloverworks and with Studio, What's Not to Love. Um, and I'm very excited to start this series uh, on the channel. So that is a yes from me. Next up, Love is War. Uh, season three yep season three of course i'll be watching that it's been so long uh, i did actually did i i think i did react to season two of lovers war on the channel it was very long ago it was like at the very start of me reacting or start of the reactions to my channel if you want to go back and see my awkward early days reacting go check that out it's probably freaking dreadful um but yeah i'm excited to see season three of this now i love the show um don't read the manga but 
um yeah i'm really excited to see season three of this uh chaotic comedy love comedy uh next up is the finale which i'm surprised although i'm not surprised but i am surprised that they've put this at the top of the kind of you, you like the top of the list is the most popular ones um excuse me um but yeah this is the top apparently it's the most hearted sorry uh the season two of rising of shield hero which also has a season three announced as well um of course i will be watching shield hero i watched this on the did i watch this on the channel god i don't remember it was so long ago um i don't think i watched it on the channel i don't think maybe i don't think i did but yeah i'll be excited to the to be watching this and reacting to it on the channel as well Damn it, I got through that a lot quicker than usual, which is great. I didn't have to waste all my time on these trash ones at the bottom. Sorry if they're your favorite series. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to these. We are watching five, maybe seven, six. Um, so we've got eight, well, six, maybe eight. Um, seven, maybe nine. Yeah. That's it for now. Uh, I will check out the other ones, obviously, that I've said I'll check out. They probably won't be reactions to it, though, depending on uh, how I feel about them. So, yeah, uh, 10 days, 6 days, 8 days, 9 days, 8 days. Oh, that, that one's I'm not watching. 6 days, um, 2 days, 14 days. So, 14 days. So, yeah, it's only. it looks like to be only Comey and Shield Hero that come out on the same day, it looks like which is good. Um, don't have to destroy myself like I did a few seasons ago where there was like four anime I watched the watch on a, watch on a Friday, which was hell. Um, but yeah, so it seems like some decent stuff uh, this this season and it'll be it'll kind of pack out my week as well, which is good. And I'm excited for it. So anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you will enjoy uh, these reactions and check out my videos. If there's anything I've mentioned here that's like, actually, you should check that out because it's like secretly a banger please let me know down below and also let me know what you're watching this season too and what you're excited for. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out guys.